Hey everyone, welcome to this quick dive into Python. Python is one of the most popular programming languages out there and today I'll show you why it's such a big deal. You will know why Python is everywhere and why you should learn it. So let's jump right in. So what exactly is Python? Think of it as a language that makes coding feel easy. It's designed to be simple, readable and powerful enough to build almost anything from websites to AI. Whether you are a total beginner or an experienced coder, Python just makes sense. All right, so let's rewind a bit. Let's look at the history of Python. Python was created by Udo Van Rossum back in 1991. His goal was to create a language that's easy to read, easy to write, and actually fun to use. And here's a fun fact. Python isn't named after a snake, like many of you might think, but after Monty Python's Flying Circus, a comedy show. And over the years, we have seen Python growing like anything. It is one of the most powerful programming languages in the world and it's used everywhere. So, where do we actually see Python in action? Honestly, everywhere. It runs websites, powers AI, automates tasks, crunches big data, even helps predict stock trends. So, whether it's self-driving cars, social media algorithms, or space exploration, Python is behind the scenes making it all happen. Okay, but why Python is so popular and why you should be learning it? First, it's incredibly easy to read and write. Check this out. Print hello world and that's all it takes to display text. No confusing syntax, no weird symbols. Python is also an interpreted language which simply means that you don't need to compile your code before running it. Just write and execute. It runs line by line making debugging easier and development faster. It's also one of the most versatile and multi-purpose languages out there. So whether you want to bring websites, analyze data, automate tasks, or dive into artificial intelligence, Python has you covered. One of the biggest reasons but why Python is so powerful, it's its massive community and endless libraries. Let's start with the community first. So Python has millions of developers worldwide, meaning you'll never be stuck for long. You have got a question. Chances are somebody already has solved it. So you have platforms like GitHub, Stack Overflow, and it's full of answers and tutorials and open source projects you can learn from. And then you have these huge collection of libraries. Libraries are nothing, and we'll see this in the course as well. We'll talk about this in more detail. But they're pre-written code. That's so. Whenever you're working with Python, there's a high chance that for most of the tasks that you do, you don't have to write the code from scratch. Somebody else has already written the code for it, and you just leverage it in your world. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. So if you want to analyze the data, let's say, you have a library called Pandas. If you want to do machine learning, then you have TensorFlow and sklearn. For web development, you have Django and Flask. For uh, testing, you have Selenium. So this combination of strong community and powerful libraries is what makes Python not just easy to learn, but incredibly efficient for real-world applications. So who should learn Python? Actually, everyone. If you're a student or beginner, Python is the easiest programming language to start with. For developers, Python, again, is a must-have skill for web development or data science or AI. Python has this massive ecosystem of frameworks and libraries. So. Yeah, I mean, even if you are into finance or business analytics, you want to automate your financial reports, 
uh, maybe you want you are into the job of taking decisions based on data again python is something that you should go ahead and learn so it doesn't matter whether you are in tech business research or just curious about coding python is a skill that o can open doors for you industry leaders using python so some of the biggest companies in the world trust python google uses it for ai and research algorithms netflix recommendation systems runs on python even nasa uses it for space research in finance big players like jp morgan chase and goldman sachs and all, all those big players out there use python for risk analysis market predictions automating their regular task if the world's biggest companies are using python guys that's a pretty good reason i feel to learn it don't you agree this is just the beginning if you want to learn python step by step i've got a complete beginner friendly course lined up for you we'll start with the basics the variables loops functions and then we'll move on to the real world applications like data handling automation even simple ai projects so by the end of the course i'm sure you'll be comfortable writing python code and building cool projects the delivery style would be more like a classroom style of delivery so there would be a lot of interaction in terms of me asking you some open ended questions and uh, making you actually think about what we are learning rather than just consuming the content that's coming your way so if you're ready to dive in make sure to subscribe and follow along let me know in the comments what's the first thing you would love to build in with python